For more on the administration's response, what's being done and is it enough? We are joined live now by ABC News political contributor Matt Dowd in Washington and Democratic strategist James Carville in New Orleans. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. I'd like to start first with both of you rating how the president has responded. No one would begrudge him a well-earned vacation uh, over the holidays. However, the images of him on the beach, on the tennis court, on the golf course, juxtaposed with images of anxious travelers enduring onerous security procedures in airports seems striking. Well, I, but I don't know. The many people, I think, that the response was appropriate, that to, to do more than that would be to just encourage other people. If this review, which I'm very interested in, by the way, I, I think this is some kind of a fault we have in our security system, and this thing should be taken extremely seriously. But I, you know, giving all kind of statements every, every other hour on this, or, or, you know, saying wanted dead alive, or, you know, God knows, I hope he doesn't invade a country, or, you know, invade Sri Lanka over this. But, you know, it's going to be what kind of security review we have, where did this system break down? I think that uh, Secretary of Homeland Security was right to, to, to readjust a statement. That was, that was not a very good statement, the original one. And, and so let's see where it goes. But this thing needs to be taken very, very seriously, and we need to find out what happened. Matt? Well, I mean, James, I agree with James on a big part of that. The Secretary of Homeland Security put the more pressure on the president by making those statements on Sunday where she said the system worked. And obviously, she's trying to roll those back. It's very hard to roll those back when you did it on two separate forums and you did it live. It's not like somebody misquoted you. And so the president, I think, understands that. I'm not one of these people that thinks the president has to be out there every time something happens. That's why he has people that work for him. That's why he has a secretary of Homeland Security. But the problem that happened and why he had to speak was because she did not handle it competently, and that's the situation we got ourselves into. Man, I heard somebody yesterday equate that statement, the system worked, that Janet Napolitano made initially with uh, President Bush's infamous statement, hell of a job, Brownie, in the wake of Hurricane Katrina to the head of FEMA. Do you think that's a fair analogy? Well, I think the, you know, the situation, obviously, with a hurricane hitting New Orleans, which actually is where James is now, I mean, there's probably, I, I would have a hard time arguing it's, it's, the, same, it's the same quality. It is a problem when we have now been in this situation for eight years and we have a person that is on a watch list or is on some sort of list who buys a ticket with cash, who, who the British refuse to let him in the country. He is allowed to get into our country and get on an airplane and only through his incompetence, not through anything we did, only through his incompetence, the plane didn't go down. And that's the problem. His incompetence and some passengers also and the flight crew leaping into action. James, you just said a second ago that you do think there are some problems with these well, terror lists that we're maintaining. Not, this terror yeah. list of, of more than half a million people appears to be almost meaningless. Nobody's monitoring these people. No. When he scanned his passport and his visa at the airport, it didn't pop up. There wasn't right. any cross database checking. Has there been a lack of urgency in sort of fixing and addressing these issues? Well, you know, I get, you know point out, I mean, to be fair, this thing's been going on for eight years. And I, I don't know if an airport scanner would pick up three ounces of, of, of this plastic exposure sewn into somebody's underwear. Uh, I mean, these are questions that, are, and I'm sure Matthew feels the same way, and a lot of people do, particularly people that travel a lot, is, it, well, are we capable of doing this? Why did this system break down? There needs to be a real, real investigation here, not some paper over thing. And I think if we get answers, and we know that people are working to correct it, people will feel better. And I, I'm all for not giving a bunch of speeches and, and, you know, Wild West kind of, you know, goofy statements. But I want to know what is behind this, why did this system break, and what's being done to address it. And Matthew asked very fair questions, and, I, and, and this is a very fair question to ask. We already have one Republican congressman from Michigan who's running for governor of that state who is saying, uh, trying to make hay out of this, issued a statement, a fundraising statement saying, yesterday saying it is insulting the Obama administration administration would claim the system worked. These are the same weak-kneed liberals, he writes, who tried to bring Guantanamo Bay terrorists to Michigan. Any surprise that uh, members of the opposite party are looking to make hay on this? No, and, and I think this is the same gentleman people need to know that held a press conference and said, we found weapons of mass destruction in, in Iraq. I, I, I think this, this man has some, some sort of intellectual challenges, and I think everyone knows that. And it's kind of odd that you would put it in a fundraising letter. But I, I, I think that it is very, I, I, I think it was unfortunate what the uh, Director of Homeland Security said, and she so much acknowledged that. And we, and, but I do think that it's very fair to say, how, how was this on a no-fly list? How was he flying? And also, how do we stop people who have this plastic sewn in their underwear? I want right. to know the answer to that myself. All right. We all do. James Carville, Matt Dowd, thanks so much for being here this morning. Thank you. Happy holidays.